Hi, I'm Paul, M Kitchen Chef. Today, you're gonna to make your own chocolate bark. To make the bark, we've got soft brown sugar, some butter, pecan nuts, two types of chocolate, dark and milk, condensed milk, vanilla extract, and some sea salt flakes. So let's get cooking. To make your chocolate bark, you need to line your tin with greaseproof paper, and then get your pecan nuts, and place them into a heated frying pan. And then you just need to roast them in a dry pan for four to five minutes. When the pecan nuts are nicely roasted and you get that nice nutty smell, you want to place half the pecan nuts into the tray. Once placed into the tray, just spread, spread out, and then place to one side to cool while you make the caramel. To make the caramel, just place your butter into a saucepan, your soft brown sugar, condensed milk, and just a couple of sprinkles of sea salt and that'll bring you a nice salty caramel taste. Once your ingredients have melted, turn the heat up to full power and keep stirring constantly for five minutes. You want to achieve the temperature of 116 degrees with a sugar thermometer. If you don't have a sugar thermometer, then just get a bowl of ice cold water, drop a bit of the caramel in on a teaspoon and it should set up. Once your caramel has achieved the temperature, turn the heat off you want to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Just give it a quick stir. You want to pour the caramel over your pecan nuts, just nice and evenly. Once you've done that, just give it a little tap. And then you want to put that in the fridge and allow it to cool for around 30 minutes. To make the chocolate topping for the bark, place some water in the pan and bring it to the boil. Then you want to place the milk chocolate at the bottom and then the dark chocolate on the top. Then quite simple, just place the bowl on top of the pan of water and just allow it to melt. This will take about 5 to 10 minutes. Now we're going to pour the chocolate over the caramel. While you're pouring it, just give it a little stir and you should get nice little ripple effects. Once you've done that, with your spoon, just simply whirl it across the caramel. Once the chocolate's all in the tin, again, just give it a little tap and it'll evenly spread out the chocolate. Then, you want to get your pecan nuts and then you just want to sprinkle them on top of the chocolate. Once you've placed all the pecan nuts on top, you want to place this in the fridge to cool for around 30 minutes. Halfway through the cooling process, just sprinkle the rest of the sea salt flakes on. Once the chocolate bark has cooled, you just want to slide it out onto the board and then you want to cut it up rustically, serve and enjoy. Mmm, very tasty.